five. And then as they go off, the race will be underway. Let's watch the front row men. Loads of wheel spin from Timo Glock, but he Stop gets Stoller. the car hooked up. Always a smash behind. Always a problem. And, and someone collected him. There's three cars involved at least there. Lewis Hamilton making up places from the back. He's two or three cars to the better already, but the BCN team get away. And it looked as though maybe Lapierre has got up into third place. Certainly an Arden car there. Vizo making a move down the inside. That's a great one into Villeneuve. Prima there on the outside. That's Nelson Piquet, the turquoise and black car. Safety car, Safety car is out, but already some changes. Oh, and a huge shunt. And that is Prima. Alexandre Prima, the number one car. A huge shot, that's the fire extinguishers have gone off there. Sanding the ground, everybody else filing through very slowly because they can't see a thing. There is Lewis Hamilton, he's made up two places plus another three or four for damaged machinery. Back on the pit, uh, pit straight. Uh, is that Hernandez, 25? I think that is uh, Porchero then. 22 car is Lucas de Grassi and he's not having much of a weekend he wiped that car uh, that side off the Durango car yesterday as well there's a replay you see a staller to the right side there is stopped there and gets collected big time that is around a big hit Filippi via Gomedi somewhere there on that side of the track yeah, I mean, unfortunately and de Grassi, de Grassi was excited, wasn't he? Valles, Valles from uh, ninth place on the grid and that's terribly bad luck. Degrassi starting 20 yeah. seconds. See all the tire smoke masks. Uh, Valles who stalled there. And oh. Degrassi just collects him. Degrassi looking, saw a gap opening up on to his left from the car in front and then found out why that gap was opening up. Yeah, I mean, so often you see so many close, close ones and people get away with it. And that time, not so lucky. See Charlie Whiting, the starter there, standing back as they all get away underneath him. But uh, no escape there for Lucas Degrassi. That's really a tough end to what's been a tough weekend already for him and uh, poor Adrian Valles as well. Campos racing car sh absolutely shattered. Yeah, it's very difficult. I mean, you know, fortunately Degrassi wasn't that many rows back, so uh, didn't get enough of a head of steam up to, to really have a big impact, but uh, certainly enough to end his race and do a bit of damage to the car. Yeah, definitely enough. And as we saw in Valencia with Adam Carroll's uh, incident, it doesn't take an awful lot to launch one car over another. Luckily, he hit him almost completely square in the rear uh, and so uh, didn't get that sort of bouncing of his, of his tyres over the uh, car in front of him. Well, this will be uh, two or three lap safety cars uh, situation just to get these cars cleared away and to sweep the grid because there will be an awful lot of uh, very sharp bits of damaged car there. Valles, uh, Degrassi there, wisely bailing out as fast as he possibly can. Long look at <laughs> look at <the> Valles. <laughs> well, uh, well, in fact, there's Valles, there. but long look back down the track to try and make sure there's nothing coming his way, I think. Maybe being shouted at by a marshal. Everybody being sent through the pits to avoid the debris. coming through the pits for the start of lap two to avoid the debris on the pit straight. And you see there's some very heads up thinking by the race officials to make sure that nobody's going to pick up bits of debris in the tyre. Now let's have a look further back. Ah, weaving, ah, I don't believe it, is that Ammermuller? One of the, the Arden cars, it do you know what? I me. think that may have been Lapierre. They'd already seen the yellow flags in the safety car board those by the time... Are, yeah, those are the front had, I think. The, the ones in the middle hadn't. That was, they were still racing, I suspect. That was Amamula. Prema was definitely weaving there, wasn't he, to, uh, to keep the tyres warm. <laughs> On board, live pictures now with Alexandre Prema. So it was... Uh, with Nicola Lapierre, it was Michel Amamula then who hit Alexandre Prema from behind. Well, that's really uh, very unfortunate indeed. I mean, two corners, it, well, a, one corner into the race. They got through Tamburello. That was heading down to Villeneuve. They got through Tamburello. You see the safety car boards out. Really, yeah, who starts weaving immediately? Yeah. I mean, that's very well, bizarre. You, you could see Yoshimoto, the leader, was, 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 was seriously weaving side to side big time. And yeah. that, obviously, then people see it. They'll do the same. 
so, I mean, two, uh, it's crazy, know, crazy. Yeah, you, you, one first corner you in do into is, the race. Yeah, you know, exactly. hello. <laughs> totally they're unnecessary. All, yeah, revved up right behind you. Yeah, very, very bizarre and, and unfortunate for Prema and uh, Amamola. Well, particularly unfortunate for Amamola because he wasn't doing the weaving. He thought Prema was probably having a problem. I don't know, but uh, you know. One corner into a 25-lap race, you see a hole in front of you, you go into it, and that's what happened to Degrassi as well, off the start line. Saw the gap opening up as the driver in front of him moved right. A shame we don't have the onboard of him. That would make very graphic viewing, wouldn't it? Oh, look, he's looking for where Bert Mylander's safety car is going to run him over as well to add insult to injury. That's what the long look was about, because the car had hit had long since gone. So, debris swept up. I would think they'll go through the pits one more time. Here they come indeed. That's frustrating for uh, the two BCM boys. I mean, they, they both made great starts. Actually, Yoshimoto had a fantastic start and was, uh, was comfortably ahead. Well, it's two laps. They don't have to worry about somebody trying to pass them, I guess. Yeah, uh, very true. Although that's probably not the way they're looking at it. As, as you rightly say, I think everybody gets frustrated when the race comes under safety car conditions. It's especially so soon. I mean, you get yeah. so 